Some students at Sarasota High School feel the school's dress code needs a little updating after more than 40 students were found violating it Wednesday. A petition that's already pulled in more than 1,000 signatures as of Wednesday argues that the current policy is sexist. Eight on your side is Allison Henning joining us now live from Sarasota High School to explain. Allison. Keith, Stacy, good evening to you both. So the student who created this petition, she's actually the student government president here at Sarasota High School, and she tells me the overwhelming support she's received so far from students, parents, and alumni is signaling that it is time for some change. Administrators at Sarasota High School started cracking down on dress code violations Wednesday after nearly an entire school year of lax enforcement. Principal David Jones told students about the renewed enforcement efforts Monday with this message going out to parents Tuesday afternoon. I should have been doing a better job, but when you're focused on masks and social distancing and traffic patterns and getting kids in class and quarantine. In all, more than 40 students were found to be in violation Wednesday, including the creator of this petition who shared these photos with eight on your side of other female students pulled from class. She says they were considered a distraction. Principal Jones admits far more female students were dress coded for midriff shirts and short shorts than male students for sagging pants and tank tops. Is that sexist? I in my heart of hearts, absolutely believe it's not. The student government president is putting together a committee to work with Principal Jones in redesigning the current dress code. He feels there are certain elements of the policy that can and should be changed. Hopefully we'll get some good input and kids can have a healthy, productive way of really making some meaningful changes. And Principal Jones tells me a teacher here is going to be helping with these students' efforts to effectuate some change. He says a presentation could go before the school board by this summer. Live in Sarasota, Allison Henning, 8 on your side.